Howdy folks, Nathan coming at you live from the SEMA show in Las Vegas. It's a 2017 show and this is the brand spanking new very first Earthroamer XVHD. This baby costs 1.5 million and coming up next, everything you want to know. Yeah, so this is HD unit uh, number one. Uh, this is a F750 based four wheel drive uh, luxury RV. So we, we kind of took our concept on the XVLT platform and, and took it to the next level with this. So it's, it's longer, it's taller, it's wider, uh, more capacities for water, fuel, solar, battery. Yeah, I'm about 5'10", so I mean this thing is massive, right? Uh, you can see here our custom design bumper, this has got Baja design, 50 inch curved light bar in it. Again, we're picking up the angles on, on the bumper to the cab, and on this truck we're actually drawing those design features all the way through the body. So this is a custom body designed by us, it's vacuum infused uh, at our plant in uh, north of Denver, Colorado, so uh, fully built in house. Up here we've got a 30,000 pound hydraulic Warren winch. These tires, 46 inches. This winch, it could pull up to 30,000 pounds. This is based on a 750 chassis. We also have a hydraulic driven generator system. So the, the truck's smart enough so when the voltage drops, the state of charge drops below a certain point, it'll automatically start, run for 30 minutes, recharge our lithium ion battery bank back up. So yeah, we're gonna go up in, inside this monster. So let's do it. So here we are in the inside of the HD. Uh, this is a custom floor plan we did. So we've got dual galleys here. This side we've got a slide out freezer with an ice maker. Uh, induction cooktop, three burner, Bosch convection microwave. Uh, so that's an oven as well. Full drawer bank here. This massive dinette seating area in the back. Uh, we've got a table here that adjusts heights. It can convert to a coffee table. Uh, this can also make a king size bed back here. And one thing you'll notice is we put as many windows as we could in this thing. So from this vantage, we've got a 180 degree uh, view out of this. So when you're in a spot that's, you know, outdoors and has a great view, we wanted you to be able to see that from inside the coach here. Uh, Giant sink on this side, so this will have built-in cutting boards, colanders, that sort of thing to make this kind of a, a workspace here. This side's our, our slide-out refrigerator. And then we've got kind of our entertainment system here. So this is a 43-inch TV. It's completely inset into the cabinet. We've got a Bose surround sound system here. This monitors for our ghost um, security system. So we have cameras outside the vehicle on all sides so we can see um, we can also get alerts on our smartphone if somebody's walking by the truck or that sort of thing. All right, so as we move forward in the truck here, this is gonna be our, our pantry. So we've got two slide out pantries here. Uh, down here is more food storage. Um, and then this guy here is a built-in washer and dryer unit. Of course, you gotta have one. You gotta have that, right? Yeah. All right, the, the next thing we kind of did is we wanted to make this kind of feel like a master suite. So this bath door will actually close this area off so we can kind of separate this area from the rest of the truck. Um, here you can see our full walk-in shower, real tile, marble tile on the floor to match the countertops. And then as we move forward in the truck here, we've got a our lav here, so sink, storage underneath, a 32 inch TV for the bunk, a separate Bose surround sound up here so we can watch something up here and something different in the, in the rear of the truck. King size bed, windows all the way around, roof hatch. Uh, this is actually 
about six inches taller than, than the headroom is in our, our other product, the XVLT. So a uh, thicker mattress, a little bit more comfortable. All right, so this guy, like I said, just looks like a standard dresser. We've got a slide out staircase, so this will give you access up to the bunk. We match the flooring that's in the rest of the vehicle and also integrated our uh, kind of steel strap finish there on the front end. Yeah, so the, the rear seating will convert to a king size bed and all these builds are fully custom. So we can kind of start with a floor plan like this and if somebody wants something different, we can make that happen. If somebody wanted a bedroom in the rear, we could do that and then kind of utilize the space as a dinette seating area or that sort of thing. Um, so kind of sky's the limit. Uh, the finishes, the whole look is a custom design thing. Uh, so we should go out to the customer and see what they want to do and, and match their look that way. King Ranch interior, so uh, that's something very rare in a, a medium duty truck, a truck of this size. So typically they're vinyl floors. Uh, so we, we replaced every single component in the cab to, to make it a real high end feel while you're driving it. What we noticed on our other model is the more headroom we could have, the larger it felt. So you'll notice this vehicle has no slide outs at all, but it feels really large inside. So uh, we attribute that to the higher head headroom and, and all the windows. So very light, very open. And we kind of tried to keep this area as open as possible just to give you that wide open feel. All right, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming and seeing us. Yeah. So what do you guys think? 1.5 million for that rig? I mean, you can pretty much go anywhere where there's land. I think that's the whole purpose of it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. From SEMA, this is Nathan Adlin. See you next time.